Well, hi again. Today I've got much small stuff to review from AKK Technology Company. And instead of reviewing everything separately, I will do a group test. So, here we have AKK Tech CI20 FPV camera X1P25 200 and 600 mW switchable 5.8 kHz video transmitter TS5828 600 mW 5.8 GHz 32 channel video transmitter and a set of LR2 cloverleaf antennas. Starting with CAM, CI20 looks very familiar if you happen to use something like Foxir XIT600M before. It has the same shape, mounting holes and bracket, and decent build quality. It also has OSD menu to tune the picture quality to your liking, therefore comes with the extra OSD control joystick. Default camera lens is 2.8 mm and I would change it to 2.5 mm right away to get about 120 degrees of fall instead of 100 degrees by default. This camera is based on Sony Super HAD2 CCD, has up to 650 TVL optical resolution and such good features as digital wide dynamic range settings. If you would compare Foxir XAT600 camera OSD and settings to AKK Tech CI20 camera, we would find that they are almost the same, as well as all the features are. But AKK Tech comes in a cheaper price, therefore is a better value for money. Next is a very interesting X1P 40 channels 5.8 kHz 25 200 600mW switchable video transmitter, which comes either with or without pigtail. Not only it is switchable, but it also has such good functions like power on and off with a button. This transmitter is small, lightweight, has LED indicator and a button to control all the functions. Comes with a cable connector and instruction manual. It is very easy to control. Short button press, change channel. Longer button press, change group. And 15 second button press, change output power and switch off and on. Next is TS5828 600mW 5.8 kHz 32 channels video transmitter. It is a bit less complicated, totally controlled with the deep switches, small and lightweight. Comes with omnidirectional antenna, a set of GoPro video and power cables and a couple of cables to connect to other cameras, plus a user manual. And the last thing is the set of LR2 cloverleaf antennas, which are built over originally designed Aumway antennas. Let me remind you that Aumway of antennas of this type outperforms most of all other antennas and designs currently available. AKK LR2 look exactly the same and should deliver the same video signal quality. The build quality is nothing to worry about, and the set comes with one left hand or right hand polarized SMA and one RP SMA antenna. Now, here is my third model that would be used in AKK CI20 camera X1P video transmitter and AKK antenna. This setup would be compared to my other model with the same antenna plus KDS Kylin 600mW video transmitter which had never let me down in terms of video signal quality and Foxir XAT600 camera tuned similarly in the OSD menu. So finally, there would be three tests in this video. First, X1P video transmitter set to 200mW with AKK antenna. Same setup with the transmitter set to 600mW. KDS Kylin 600mW transmitter with AKK antenna. AKK TS5828 600mW transmitter with AKK antenna. This is to compare those three transmitters. Second, AKK TS5828 600mW transmitter with AKK antenna versus the same transmitter with Amway antenna. This is to compare how AKK antenna performs against Amway antenna. The third one is KDS Kylin 210 frame 
with Foxir XAT600 and Kaolin 600mW transmitter and the AKK antenna. Against the similar frame with AKK CA20 camera, AKK X1P transmitter and AKK antenna. This test is to compare how such two setups compete and flight under the same conditions. So let's start. Here I wanted to mention, I'm pretty impressed with the way all AKK products perform. They are cheaper than rivals and deliver some decent quality. Good work. Stay tuned, more reviews to come. Check out the description to this video to read more about each item and about other AKK products.